हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर देवेश मिश्रा एंड आई एम नेशनल लेवल पैथोलॉजी फैकल्टी एंड मेंटर एंड ऑथर एंड टीचर ऑफ द बेस्ट सेलिंग ऐप एंड बुक टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर नीट पीजी एग्जाम फॉर नेक्स्ट 45 डेज व्हाट शुड बी योर प्लान फॉर नेक्स्ट फोर्टी डेज स्पेशली इन द टाइम वेन स्टूडेंट्स आर सो मच वरीड आफ्टर द आई एन आई सी टी एग्जाम एंड द रिजल्ट राइट so here i want to share with you that uh, in this inict exam there were more than 25 question came from my notes and my book so it is very essential uh, to listen to uh, to me and to uh, to follow this guideline which i'm going to tell you because these are my vast experience which i'm going to share with you right and this will definitely going to help you only thing which i will say that you may modify uh, some of the technique or some of the schedules so that whatever is suiting to you you can follow it right but it should be around this strategy that definitely it is going to help you in your exam so this i am going to tell you how to prepare for neat pg exam in last 45 days right this is the biggest worry for to all the students when will be the neat pg exam please do not think about that right please for god sake do not think about that when will be your neat pg exam because it is it is creating more anxiety in your mind and you may be you know become uh, so relaxed and you will be delaying your all the plans and maybe you may be losing your momentum also at this moment so please do not think about the timing of exam just imagine that your exam is going to happen after 45 days so in that way we are going to plan what should be our strategy right study plan and strategy is very important make your plan according to your capabilities so please remember what i am saying what i said in the beginning also right these plans which i am going to share with you is all due to my experience and teaching from last 12 to 15 years which i have seen and even i have prepared for exam and i have cracked these exams so here i would like to tell you make your own plan according to that you can modify this plan which i am going to share with you and then you can utilize it right so best method is to make a shorter goals right so make don't make a straight for a 45 days goal make a shorter goal daily goals weekly monthly plans and i and i will advise that if you make a hourly plans also that will be very good right because sometime on the daily plan also you may get failure for example today i wanted to sit for 12 hours and i want to study right and suppose in the morning hours i i wake up late and then some work i have uh, you know i have some work and because of that i am going to start by 12 o'clock right i am going to start my studies by 12 o'clock so sometime in in this you know anxiety students will spoil entire day because they will be thinking half of the day is gone so that is why you should not make a very big plan so in in that case that hourly plan will help you that I, let let me plan for next two hours of the uh, studies next two hour i'm going to study pathology notes only right so like that make shorter plans so that you should not be wasting your time right so that is the basic agenda you should not be wasting your time so make shorter hourly plan daily plan weekly plan monthly plan analyze it and follow it right divide your time for each subject and topic that is very very important because you should know that which subject is important and from where examiners are they are going to ask many of the questions so actually in uh, in a medical curriculum which which i can see that many of the subjects are you know connected to each other so we cannot say that this is the properly anatomy question or orthopedic question or this is surgery question or pathology question or it's a medicine question right so according to weightage you have to think about but in that also you have to sort out you have to uh, study those subjects which are connecting each other for example i said anatomy with surgery and ortho right like pathology with the medicine or phys physio with the medicine right so like that you have to make a combination and then you have to follow your schedule here i am going to tell you this 45 days strategy which you may follow it will help you and according to your suitability and your convenience you can modify this strategy also see uh, here first of all we have to understand that first year subjects right so that anatomy these are all basic sciences very important right so anatomy physio and biochemistry is very very important subject and please remember when you are doing a study try to study 9 to 11 hours per day with the total focus with the total focus number 1 second use social media only for the limited period so social media means whatsapp facebook right telegram all these things should not be going beyond 20 to 30 minutes per day right 
and remember this timing should be exclusive from this one right this if suppose you are reading nine hours so this should be 30 minutes so total day should be nine hour 30 minutes like that you have to make a plan and remember you have to be very disciplined you have to be very disciplined it should not be it should not be going beyond 20 to 30 minutes because social media is very addictive i'm giving you warning this is very important because last moment you will be having so much of stress and you will try to relieve your stress by seeing the social medias and all that will be you know very very dangerous in the in your preparation so here i am telling you anatomy physio and biochem first year subjects are very important subject rank deciding subject right so give anatomy uh, three days physiology two days physiology two days biochemistry two days right and you can see the weightage of the marks 17 question will be from anatomy 17 from the physiology and 16 from the biochemistry you might be thinking why i have given uh, more time for the anatomy because anatomy is a tough subject physiology is a little bit easier in comparison to that biochemistry i know that it is a tough question but uh, you know if you have to adjust within 45 days you have to follow this kind of schedule and and as per your con convenience if you're if your anatomy is very good right and if your biochemistry is not good then you can shuffle this but what i will advise that it should not be going beyond seven to eight days that is the limit so for these 50 question you restrict yourself for seven to eight days right then come to the second year subject second year subjects we all know that pathology pharmacology microbiology and forensic remember first year and second year subjects are the most important subjects which actually uh, you know give you cutting edge in your exam if you do not understand these subjects then it is difficult to understand uh, you know medicine surgery or ops and gynecology right so pathology you should give four days 25 questions will be coming from here pharmacology also you can give four days 20 questions will be coming from here microbiology three days 20 questions will be coming from here forensic medicine 10 questions will be there but it's easy subject you can finish off within one day so try to restrict in this and around this you can shuffle according to your situation if your pharma is not good then you can give more time if your patho is very good you can give less time or if your micro is not good you can give more time to the micro so according to that you can change your plan but this should not be going beyond 12 days so now you can see that total number of days is the 12 days and total number of the questions are 75 questions so out of 30 out of 300 questions 75 questions will be from the second year subject and as you can see that as you can see that first year subject there will be a 50 questions so overall you can see that a huge chunk will be asked from here so be prepared for these things right then comes the third year subject right so aptel ent and psm so aptel and ent you can give 1.5 1.5 days one and a half one and a half days they will be asking 10 10 questions each and in for uh, psm it's a very important subject and uh, i can suggest you if you can take out some time from ophthalmology and ENT you can add on into the PSM because it's a very important subject and there will be 25 questions right so and this is very volatile subject also you need a very proper revision and multiple revision of the PSM so it should be not going for seven days 45 questions from the third year you are going to get so you should try for this also right now coming to the final year question uh, final year schedule you, if you are going to see that medicine psychiatry dermatology and pediatrics right so these are the uh, subjects which where medicine is a bulkier subject you should give five days 32 questions will be approximately asked from the medicine psychiatry is uh, one day for six questions and dermatology for one day for seven questions pediatrics one day for 10 questions and total eight days you should be giving for all these four subjects right medicine psychiatry derma and pediatrics right and they will be amounting to be 55 question fine then comes uh, another set of the final year question that is the uh, final year subject that is the uh, surgery orthopedics anesthesia radiology and ops and gynae so here you can see there are two big subjects one is the surgery and another is the ops and gynae but that does not mean that you should skip or compromise on ortho anesthesia and radio remember these three smaller subjects are also very vital each and every question is vital these uh, subjects are very good and uh, there are limited questions which examiner can ask here or examiner will be asking uh, you know easy to finish and you can cover up entire topic and you can you know you can grab all the 15 questions from the ortho anesthesia and radiology so it's a you know a scoring kind of thing so please do not omit that do not try to skip them surgery you can give four days for 30 questions orthopedics six questions will be approximately asked anesthesia approximately four questions radiology five questions ops and gynae there will be 30 questions and totally you can see 75 questions can come and you should not go beyond 11 days 
right so these are the 45 days strategy which i wanted to tell you right you should you you can make a timetable along with this or you can modify it according to your strength or your weaknesses right and what we should know very important in our uh, you know preparation is focus on building on your sub your concepts please remember build your concepts and regular revision these are the two important things which are going to help you a lot in your exam do not please do not focus on the solving number of the mcqs which i have seen many students they target today i will solve thousand mcqs and that is my target please do not make this kind of foolish targets right please do not make such kind of foolish target don't don't have this kind of target please make a target to build the concept my target is to build the concept of that subject right if you build one concept i can assure you you can solve multiple mcqs you can solve multiple mcqs by knowing one concept so please build your concept so my my planning is for one day if you are studying in a one day for uh, you say 9 hours right so give 70% of your time 70% of your time to the theory part right and 30% of time to the mcq part right mcq is only for the orientation purpose right so please don't expect that these mcq will be repeated in your exam topics will be repeated please remember your topics will be repeated your topics will be repeated mcq will be new right that is why i am saying don't don't have this kind of you know uh, wrong thinking that mcq will be repeated and i will be getting advantage to other uh, another student no it's not mcq it's a topic which is going to be repeated it's alzheimer disease which is going to be repeated sometime they will be asking their relation with the down syndrome sometime they will be asking their relation with the apolipoprotein epsilon 4 so topic will be same but the question is different right so please remember this point this is very very important and the last one and a half month right because many students they ask me how to revise and and when to revise all these things my my uh, planning is to if you can if you can do early morning one to two hours of the revision right one to two hours of the revision of your own notes that will be the best strategy that will be the best strategy for your exam right because it's a, like a small chunk you are doing every day and notes already you have prepared you have you, you sat in a lecture and you and you listen to your professor or teacher and then you are you know you you know those things very well so that revision will be very quick so my advice to all of you that try to do early morning one to two hours of revision every day remember every day and that is from your notes that will be the best strategy for revision in the last 45 days apart from that thing whatever grand test or mock tests are coming this is also a part of revision writing grand test or mock test is a kind of revision right so try to write them and after writing right after writing grand test please do not compare your rank with the other student my uh, my suggestion to you will be do this self analysis how many question you have done wrong right how many question you have done right this should be your analysis right how many guesses were correct for you this should be your analysis right how you can improve with a trick means intuition and all these things you are ruling out three options right or you are ruling out two options and there you are hitting the mcq how many mcqs are getting correct there what is the success rate in those things so to analyze all those things and most important thing you have to analyze which area you are is still weaker and then you have to revise them right you have to revise them and then you have to make a short notes about them right because you are not going to revise the grand test just one day or one week before your exam so whatever weakness you are feeling in your grand test come back analyze that whatever uh, topic you have committed mistake you please make a short note and add on into your main notes which you are going to revise every day or which you are going to read every day so that is how you have to improve on yourself right so this grand test and mock test is very important the most see two most important thing after writing grand test number one do not compare yourself otherwise you will be feeling depressed and then you will be wasting your time in depression 
right second thing try to analyze your weaknesses where you are you are com you are committing mistake make a short note add on into your notes that will help you in your exam right then in the last thing which i wanted to tell because if you are studying for 9 to 11 hours it's not easy task right because you are studying from long time so i will advise you take regular breaks right regular breaks should be there for example i will say that if you are studying uh, you know one hour right in one hour i will i will suggest that take a break after every 20 minutes after 20 minutes take one break right take one break and this one break should not be more than five minutes it should be five minutes and in this five minute you should not do anything just relax just relax no mobile no social media no talking just close your eyes and listen to some light music right just listen to some light music i'm just telling you listen to some light music that should not be a sad song please remember sad song is prohibited right because this will make your mind you know in in the sad mode and this will definitely hamper your preparation so remember this thing every 20 minutes you take a one break so in one hour you are supposed to take only two breaks right try to take only two breaks right so and that too after 20 20 minutes right or it depends I'm, I'm just telling you one idea you can take you know if you are good in studies and you are you know you like to you love to study not you if you love to study then you can take break after one hour directly also but if you are not getting your mood into the studies after 20 minutes take one short break five minutes have a deep breathing right and in in the morning time or evening time one time you try to do some exercise for 15 to 20 minutes don't build your body like a Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger right try to try to have a simple workout right so uh, jumping at one place right or simply skipping so all these things will help you or simply walking so if you are walking outside your home also this will be refresh your mind and that will be you know you there will be more blood circulation you will be having more you know brain power to understand the subject so please do not sit at one place for longer time and and keep on you know uh, accumulating fat on on your stomach and then you you know you'll be feeling so depressed after some time so please remember physical exercise is also very important for maintaining your cardiovascular system as well as if your cardiovascular system is good then your brain will be also good so please do not forget that because we all know that that brain if it gets oxygen then it works more properly more competently so that is why you have to do exercise for 15 to 20 minutes minimum it is because that is minimum requirement right keep a constant motivation and positive mindset that is very important because this is the time where you will be meeting many people or calling many of your batchmates or many of your you know junior or senior they they might be telling uh, some good advices also but it may be some good advices may have a negative impact on your mindset so that is why i wanted to say that have a constant motivation in your mind that you can do it so please remember you have to keep on motivating that you can do it and you will definitely do it right so this is my message to all of you please stay positive have a positive mindset do not calculate your success based on this INICT exam whatever is gone is gone these 45 days you can change the entire game by your hard work dedication and determination so remember one thing hard work should be so extreme that it should inspire the divinity also like that you know you should target for your hard work so do not think about anything else my dear friends you will definitely get success and my best wishes to all of you